Moving on to Mono Water. We're nearly at the end, guys. We got ourselves a blue. Ma is this the first blue mage? I swear this is no, the only we've time. Had a couple of blue. We've had a couple. We've okay. Had a uh, four cost, seven k forward. If you control a monster, blue mage gets one k power. When you when blue mage enters the field, choose one monster in your broke zone, add it to your hand. I've really felt a bit lackluster with this one. Monster decks haven't been relevant for like nine opuses. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah, a few opuses too, yeah. bro. Sorry. As much as I love monster decks, I'm sorry. Uh, Anata, four cost backup. It's part of the. The reveal cycle, you reveal the top two cards of your deck, put a water into your hand, put the other in bin, break it, uh, or tap and break it, look at the top two cards of your deck, put a water into your hand, the other in your bin. Uh, I don't know how water cares about this or not. I will be honest, I do not know how water reacts to this. Um, could water back it, up the breaks itself. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The only thing I could potentially think of is putting, like, random Vikings or two cost forwards into your bin for Layla and Lana. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah, that, like, that's what I was thinking. Or like Gilgamesh. That's, that's realistically or... it. What summons for Parham? Yeah. yeah. Reveal two cards to summon and Parham. Bye, summon! Alright, I'll just get you back later. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you're not necessary right now. <laughs> yeah, so... I uh, to get it back later. Yeah, so this is actually pretty good because the zero cost backup in water is legit. Especially if you can get the stuff back. It's useful. I would probably, I would probably play it. I wouldn't run, I, I wouldn't run three of it, but I'd probably play it. Yeah, yeah. something you at least consider. Yeah, definitely. Uh, four cost Ultimecia backup. When Ultimecia enters the field, select one forward you control, put it into the break zone. When you do so, choose one forward of the same cost as forward you, uh, cost as forward you put into the break zone. You gain control of it. Yeah. So you you sack something, you get to steal something of the. Uh, Equal cost from your the opponent. Cost. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I this could be very interesting potential wise, especially since we're seeing a lot of decks that run like that six cost ceiling. It's but very I don't hard know. to judge until we actually see it being used on the regular. I it'll be meta based. It'll very much be meta based. Like yeah. this. This reads similar to Strago, where you bounce something and play something at the same cost. Yeah. But it's sort of it's very dependent on like your opponent having the same cost thing as the thing that you want to die in play. Yes. Mm. Like it's like for example, like you sack your Veritas to steal their Neo X death and then sack the Ultimecia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, also, the fact that Steel in this game has been very lackluster as well is why I'm trying to give this a bit of a better chance, but I also am wary. Mm. Yeah. I like, it's, it's relevant, but we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. I I think I think my biggest problem with this card is that it's an Ultimacia, because I would love to run this in Vice Kings if we didn't just get a really good Ultimacia last Yeah, time. actually, that's... That's true, too. Ah, uh, Iko, I remember this. Iko, two cost backup. When Iko enters the field, you may search for one summon and put it into the break zone. Pay a water, generic, dull, and break Iko. Choose one summon in your break zone, add it to your hand. Why not just play a tutor for a summon to put straight into your hand? Because, because Parham this... and Terra exist. Not just that as well. This card is basically a direct power creep for the Opus 3 hero, Iko. Yeah. Yeah, but I haven't like, seen... I haven't seen e that played either for a while, at least I haven't. So I don't yeah, know. Like right. yeah. That card actually saw a significant amount of play at its time, but in like for this card, like the reason why it's so much better is because you don't need four summons in your break zone already. Yep. You can run this in a in a summon light deck and tutor out the summon that you need, then mm. craft this, get it back to play it whenever you need it. I don't, I don't know, like, I, I like that, but I just feel it's too slow. That's the thing, though. Like, maybe if you oh, got the po as well. Maybe if you got a Porum yeah. out, you play this to search something, and you go, cool, kill my Porum now, bitch. Yeah, just do it, you wouldn't. Yeah, like, Water has always done some interesting stuff with summons. And this yeah. is just another one of those cards that does interesting things with summons, and I would probably run it in a deck that 
run summons, but not summoners, because you want the other yeah, icon. Yeah, you want the other event. icon summoners. And yeah. you have to hope it's not leaning too hard in the Cat 9, because, well... You want the cheater icon. Searchy icon, yeah. Octo Mammoth. So this is part of the another monster cycle in this set. Three cost monster. If you control three or more water backups, Octo Mammoth becomes a forward with AK power. When Octo Mammoth enters the field, choose up to two forwards opponent controls, return them to their hand, uh, to their owner's hand. Mm. I rate this card very highly. This is, I think, is going to be another one of the sleepers. Um, Sleep and my reasoning is because of another card that's in this set in water. Yep. The but fact not just that as well. I like the fact that it's a Sildra for half the price. Yeah, it's you know Sildra costs six for this exact effect. Yeah, and this has a po this positive is... of becoming a forward possibly. Yeah, this is yeah. half the cost and it leaves the volume behind. Yeah. I was going to say the thing that makes this deck is the same as the um the other one. It's ETB not when it dies. That's what's yeah, made yeah, the big absolutely. difference. Yeah. Also, so... um, if bounce is not playable with this set, it never will be. Oh yeah, like there's so many like, powerful effects that have something yeah, to do with so, bounce in this set. Yeah, this is so pushed. Well, ho we can hope. So I, I, I will probably, I will quite likely be running this card in my water decks, just oh, yeah. because it's just, it's actually just that good. Like, no, it's, it's, it's really good. Oh, not, not just that as well. It's another way to push the game, push the game. Which water had a very tough time doing under normal circumstances, but now that you've got a three cost double Leviathan. Sure, you can only play it during your turn, but it's a double Leviathan with a body, with a body yes. attached to it. Like what? Yeah, no, right. Also, I am more wow. than I am more than willing to pay to bounce this to my hand to replay it to bounce two of your things. Yeah. Yep. Gotta love them job octopus. Yeah. yeah. Like I'll happily I'll happily bismarck it to get it back into my hand to play it again. Yeah. Yep. Especially if you've attacked with it or something dumb like that. Yeah. But the card is absolutely silly. Hmm. Speaking of octopuses, Ultros. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Ultros. Two cost forward 5k. When Ultros is put from the field into the break zone, you may search for you may remove Ultros from the game. If you do so, put the top five cards of your deck into break zone, then select one card name Ultros in your break zone, and play it onto the field. I love it, but I hate the mill effect. <laughs> My this... biggest problem with this Ultros is why is it such a non though with the legend? Yeah, like, yeah. If you take Ultros out of your break zone, you would rather search it from deck to do big damage on attack. Like, yeah. Why... Like I would actually never, I almost never trigger the the uh, death trigger with this Ultros. Yeah, and it's like it's just like, there to be another card named Ultros. Look, there's only one, like thirteen. Ultros there's one big Ultros. positive though for this card, and we're getting one step closer to Mono Ultros. Oh yeah, nine down, forty-one to go. Yep. <laughs> Ultros dot death. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll make it. I know, I'm not doubting you guys. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I will do it. Wait, are we at 9 or 12? I thought there's 4 Ultrosses. That is the, the original, the, the other 2 drop, and then the uh, the Cat 13 one. Yeah. Yeah, and then this Although one. it's kind of entertaining that both of the searches for these Ultrosses happen to be in ice. <laughs> yep. Next set we get another. Yeah, one per set. Yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. We'll have a. We'll, the, eventually, the payoff will be like remove eight card name Ultros from your brave zone, deal seven points of damage to your opponent. Oh, the art was already. Sp <laughs> oh, has the art already yeah, been the spoiled? Art was already spoiled. Okay. Way, yeah. We aren't getting another one. Now. Ultros. Oh, yeah. Ultros. Ultros. Yeah. Oh boy. Twelve down, thirty-eight to go. <laughs> I'll do the ch right. channel point redemption oath, and then we'll move on. Certainly. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light! Ah, oh, speaking of good shit, more Ultrosses. Speaking of power. Leviathan, Lord of the Whorl. I'm going to make sure I'm not mispronouncing that after the first few times. 
Nine cost primal forward 9k. When Leviathan, Lord of the Wall, enters the field, choose up to one forward opponent controls and up to one backup opponent controls and up to one monster opponent controls. That means if you don't have targets for all three, you don't have to do all three. Uh, return them to their owner's hand. Second line, whenever a character is returned from field to its owner's hand, choose one forward opponent controls, it loses 9k power until end of turn. Ugh. So this is our big payoff for bouncing cards to hand. What the actual well, oh, like yeah, this card, is this card is dumb, dumb, dumb. Like, hi, I'm just gonna casually sweep your damn field. Yeah, be thankful this is a nine cost, by the way. We go back to yeah. mono. Just... We go back to mon set, uh, Opus One Mono Water. Cheers. Yep. And it's like, just paying 9 for a 9k that makes two of your opponent's forwards disappear and one of their backups for a turn. Like, you set them back really oh, far. Po possible and two also, of their forwards. And also, more, I'd like to point that, out... It's more than that, because if you bounce three things, you're negging three things. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, if you happen to hit the monster. Also, um, okay, so we got Leviathan out. I'm gonna go to end step. Bismarck, bounce my Zidane. Kill. Yep. Oh, and draw a card. Yeah, and draw a card off of that too. Yeah, so they are they are pushing Wewa in this set. Like, they're, yeah. they're not just pushing Wewa, they're pushing bounce hard. Yeah, like, pushing... this is... Yeah. Like, I, I like, know... This is crazy. I know I was f f finicking with the deck before this, but I'm tempted to actually do mono water this just because I want to be that guy. Oh, yeah, speaking of mono water, Lena now finally has an in-color target for her S ability that's super worth it. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, just arise this, die. Also, I'm going to quickly point out as well that Opus 4 Leviathan is just in, like instantly playable with this card. Yep. That's that. That's my thing. Kill two of yours. Also, evaluating, yeah. evaluating this thing. Oh, yeah. Evaluating with this is uh, <laughs> Yeah. They f I finally kill your combo. Nope. <laughs> it comes right back oh, doing its bro. shit again. <laughs> so... Uh, no. Yeah, this is... Another... ...why I say Garuda is going to see a lot of play, because Garuda needs to kill this thing yeah. very quickly. Except if they have a Villier out, then you just cry. Yeah. Oh, then I get the draw card at least. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worth. Uh, Bismarck can bounce, like, I know it's it's a high cost, but you can actually bounce the Leviathan to do it again next turn, can't you? Uh, Leviathan specifically says win characters to pick up. Uh, yeah, Bismarck. Oh, Bismarck. Yeah, Bismarck. yeah that's, what I, that's what I thought, I just couldn't remember for a second. But you can use the summon Bismarck to pick this up. Oh, and it actually sees the 9k from itself bouncing. Yeah. Yep. Because the character was returned. Y you know what players love? Monster stuff. You miss monster stuff, right? Uh, Queena, three cost. Day. <laughs> Queena, three cost forward seven k. Discard one monster card. Discard one monster. Draw one card. Queena gets plus two k power until end of turn. You can only use this ability once per turn. Tap Qu uh, Quinta. Remove three monsters in the break zone from the game. Choose one forward. Put it at the bottom of its owner's deck. Uh, uh, seven opus is too late. <laughs> this is actually a really sweet effect on a really sweet card that doesn't really have that much in the way of name contention for the card. Yeah, like the other but two painters are just kind of bad, yeah. so... But my biggest problem is why is it... Like, I can understand why from a flavor perspective, but monsters, again? Like, yeah. really? They're trying. They're trying to bring things back to the glory days of water. No, 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 no. Yeah. We, we, next set, we're going to get a primal, like, Leviathan, but monster-based. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just use no, the primals to force everything. Give me legend monsters in Opus 15. Yeah. Give me, give me, uh, give me Final Fantasy 15's Adam Antoys as a legend any day. Yeah. No, 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 no. You want, you want legend monsters? I'll give you one. Shadow Dragon. Yeah, true. Yeah. We move on to the Water Chaos card, 4 cost 8k forward. When it enters the field, you may discard one job Chaos. When you do, draw two cards. Bro, so this is the be... best one. Yeah, by far. Yeah. Bro, you can't be looking remotely playable. You're a Chaos. <laughs> How yeah, why, dare why you? Why are you so playable, buddy? But again, I feel other stuff in Water does the same thing, but better. Yeah, but 
it's still the best of the five. Yeah, it's by yeah. far. I, I, got, I, got to turn, I got to turn my six CP investment into a two CP investment. Yep. They, what? Yeah, because this chaos in my hand it's, is certainly going to be worse. Two round yeah, cards right there. You have no right being this good. Stop yeah, it. Like, no, it's... Bruh, get out of my deck. Back. It's also Cat 9, so like... Such a white icon. Did you not read the chaos instruction manual? Yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to suck and be good at sucking. Right? Yeah. Go away. Plus. I mean, it does have two tentacles, so... Alright, sorry, PG. PG. Yeah. <laughs> Two cost Corsair, uh, back up. When Corsair enters the field, draw one card, then discard one card from your hand. If the discard card is a multi-element card, draw one card, then discard one card from your hand. I think that second ability should have just been draw one card. Hmm. Uh, I like that they're trying to make multi a thing, but I feel that second ability should have just been draw a card. I will tell you this, though. I will play, I will potentially play this in Sophie. Yeah. Because what Sophie's Sophie. decks have been missing, yeah, or not just that, discard Ceramobius, discard Doga, those decks have been missing a reasonable two cost water backup. Everything has been mm. one, like Princess Sarah at one, and then it's threes and fours after that. Yeah. Like, with maybe one two cost backup. It's needed something like this for a while. I would, I would consider this. Yeah, but in every other deck, my question is why not just run Merlin? Yeah, that that's what I was gonna like. Merle just does this. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think if yeah, the if second, you, if, if any, a second, in any other deck, you would run Merle with absolutely yeah. because you know, draw yeah. two pitch one. Like I, I feel this is trying to be in a Nicole deck, but it doesn't work in the Nicole deck. Well, Nicole, Nicole doesn't work. Oh, Nicole oh sorry, sorry. That's yeah. I was literally just about to say that Nicole doesn't even work in a Nicole deck. Yeah, but I will see. I will consider this in a Sophie list. Especially the tricolor variants, because they always flash into the third color, which is multi. Well, the thing that I really don't like is the second ability is a must, not a may. Oh, if you discard the multi element. Eh, yeah. That's fine. So I still feel you have to be a bit careful with this card, because it can sort of turn on you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. More Golbez. Hey. Golbez. Five cost forward nine k. At the beginning of your attack phase, during each of your turns, reveal the top card of your deck. If it is a forward of cost three or less, you may play it onto the field. Dull him. Put four characters into the break zone. Choose one forward. You gain control of it. Hey, yo, Viking. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, this is this is the, pretty much anything really. Like I would, I, I rate this card pretty well. Hmm. Like, it, it, even if you don't play something straight away off of it, it's... it's I'll, I, I rate it. I'll pay four backups to steal a thing and draw four cards. Yeah, I mean... Oh, hey, Garland, how you doing? Yeah, yeah hey, Garland, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'll sack four backups right. to steal your best thing and draw four cards. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I rate this card quite a bit. That yeah. Very good. Yeah, fair card. Is, I, I agree with that. It is a fair card and a pretty unfair I, card. But that being said, it's a Golbez. Yeah. So I'm, like, contractually obligated to play it. But <laughs> here's the and here's the thing. I think Golbez has been one of the most well-designed cards because each of the cards of Golbez don't clash with each other. Hmm. Like, normally you... That's... Normally you'd see, like, oh, I can't run this Shantoto because this Shantoto's in. But every Golbez plays in such a very unusual, different deck that you never need to worry about that. Like, I never need to worry about the other Golbezes when running this one because it's a completely different deck. And different element. Yeah. Like, I... I As I said before, like, I quite like this Golbez. Like, it's not even really a build-around aspect with the attack base triggers. If you happen to get something, sweet! Yeah. You go, oh well. But that, act that action ability of, I'm just going to casually take that off your hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, and it... especially if you've got cards like Viking, Porum. Yeah. Like, yeah, just all these death triggers. Yeah, like, exactly. All these really, really powerful death triggers. Because I can't wait. Because very well in Mono Water, or Water yeah. cards, like, or Water decks in general, that you can just use all of them and nick something from your opponent 
Also, it turns any unbreakable water backup into a breakable water backup. Hmm. But that being said, I can't wait to just casually sack a Rampy air to this. And yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, this 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 opens a lot it. of doors in a lot of different directions, and I love that. I'm all yeah. of, I'm all about this gold bez. Like, yeah. All about that bez, about that bez. <laughs> no, watch fiend. Uh, Sagni to cost backup. This is part of the primal uh, backup list. Uh, when a primal a job water primal enters the field, you untap this. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one card among them on the top of your deck, the other at the bottom of your deck. You can only use this ability if you've got a water primal out. So, Fry is actually, like, it's actually pretty strong, like, setting the top cards of your deck, especially if you know you're going to get attacked. Yeah, because it's instant speed. I was going to say, this is an EX burst Fisher, if any, uh, you know. It's, oh, Golbez, such a fair card for an unfair meta. Yeah. Yeah, how but, dare Golbez be fair for a change? Yeah, no, right? Also, so the thing about Sahagin is, I love it, but do you have space for it? Because water's already got so many, like, with, with, really, really good backups. With that last Golbez, yeah, possibly? Potentially... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to play Golbez with some... Actually, no, there is a primal you want to play with. It's the other water primal. Yeah, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say, the other... Yeah, like... <laughs> It stupidly kind of works. Like I, yeah, I would probably, I would probably play this in We Are Primals. Just, yeah. So, but just like, not even for the other primal, just because Leviathan is just that damn good, and getting that slight discount on yeah. a nine, like on such a powerful effect, is just hilarious. Yeah, yeah, but the problem again lies in the fact that it's Weewa, your backup line is probably about fifty before you start cutting cards. Yeah, that's. But I'm sure I'm sure you can make it work. Yeah. Right, make it. Okay. Here, here comes an unpopular opinion for about thirty seconds. The Weewa backline of Category Ten is completely obsolete. The only card yeah, that's relevant in that backline is Yuna. No, at one hundred percent is. But it's just that everything else coming up is, uh, yeah. This like this is finally the opus where you can build a Weewa deck and you don't have to rely on Category Ten. Yes. Yeah, you do. You can't have to run a couple of sins. That's the only card from Cat you would run other than Yuna. I don't know. Titus seems pretty good with the Oh, God, he does. Yeah, too. yeah. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. You beat, yeah, me, you beat me to it, right? I'm like, what, what, uh, I'm like <laughs> yeah, trying to remember yeah, his yeah. name. I'm like, Cat what's... I was going to say Tifa, and I'm like, wait, that's not the right name. Yeah, no. But... Yeah, Jacked. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah Jacked. The card is coming up very soon. Yeah. Uh, I'll do the oath for. Uh, sorry, I did the oath for Will, so we just got changed again. Also, yes, uh, Jones, we are still streaming. It's only been four hours. It's, it's, and a half. And a, oh, and a half, yeah. It, it, it's fine. It's, we're nearly yeah, done, it's but it's still good. It's still good. Oh, God, I have to do my uh, Laughly's impression for Avarice. <clears throat> This is this power is mine. This is my light. Be it bright of day or black of night, I lay claim to all that falls within my sight. To take what I want, that is my right. Well yeah. Thing, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, look, it's actually been popular the stream, the changing the stream mode, so I'm sticking to it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah. Anyway, Hardly speaking well. of changing stuff, here's <laughs> here's a very good card. Five cost forward, nine k jacked. When Jack enters the field, choose one forward. If one or more forwards were attacking this turn, return that chosen forward to its owner's hand. If three or more forwards were attacking this turn, the chosen for uh, turn break the chosen forward and draw one card instead. Special, just a special. Choose any number of summons, auto abilities, action abilities, or special abilities. Cancel their effects. Hey, did you just use a uh, uh, yeah, uh, what's her name? Ursula like four times on the stack and not resolve them? Yeah, cool. No, they're all gone. <laughs> yeah, I I really like this card. Like not not just because you know they uh, actually made good use of this artwork on a good card. Hmm. Um, that entering effect is again very powerful, you especially can... with all of the cards around it. Because you could also counter um, any abilities that's yours but negative to you. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because this and... is an S ability that stops pretty much everything. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, mo really and multiple that, things on the um, stack. Yeah. Yeah. But this this special as well, because there's a like there's a lot of times we've been we've been playing Urbalia Stack Chicken. Um yeah. Jet solves all of those problems. It just says, Oh, like so we're playing Urbalia Stack Chicken today, but I'm winning. Yeah. Only oh, mine oh, work. Fine. Like even as like a base case of I've got a jack down. Oh, my opponent played an Agrius and they're on damage five. No. You 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 just get none of the above yeah. effects. You now get a vanilla five cost nine k. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike with Amaterasu, where they still get two of the effects. So now we're going to have a jacked off though. Oh yeah, jacked blocking everything. <laughs> no, no, like two jacks versus each other. <laughs> Whoever has more jet. I'll, 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 I'll jet block your stack. Well, I'll jet block your stack, including your jet block. Well, I'll, yeah. <laughs> just like, no, I'll, I'll just target you. Your stack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's that sort of thing that makes me want to play Fire Water again, just to run a bunch more jets. Yeah. I'll be honest, I would actually run like one or two copies of a Fire Jet just to, right, just to have extra copies for this special. It's that good. Oh, yeah. yeah. And here's the thing like, I know it's not as good now, but that set one jet that has just the removal spell on it is pretty good as a dumb thing as well. Pretty funny. Nah, you'd, you'd, you'd run the go for seven one just to be yeah, like, one and if you can, if you can potentially sneak it like into play, we're using the Moogle, which is yeah. fire CP. Yeah, you know, not that you would, but yeah, that's enough. So four cost Steiner forward nine k. You must control two or more forwards to cast Steiner. Why do you what keep doing are you? Bobby Japan. What are you? So, Why are you like this? It. Okay, so the only the only thing that's uglier than the text box is this card's face. Next. Yeah, yeah pretty much. At least the bad art was on a bad good. card. Yeah. One cost Tonberry. Tonberry is part of the uh, monster counter cycle from the set. At the end of your turn, you put a monster counter on it. When Tom put uh, sacrifice Tonberry, look at that many cards from the top of your deck as the counters on Tonberry. Add one card from among them to your hand, then shuffle the other cards and return them to the bottom of your deck. Do you like one cost to draw a card? I guess that's just how you would feel about this, because that's essentially what it reads. I'd prefer other cards to do that. Yeah, yeah. I'd prefer Whale Zombie, in all honesty. Like, if you if you really need to dig, like, dig deep for specific cards, then play the cards that would dig for those specific cards. Don't play Tom Berry. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'd rather play Pot Cat than this. Uh, next, Primal. Lakshmi, Lady of Bliss. Four cost forward, 7k. If you have five or more cards in your hand, Lakshmi, Lady of Bliss gains. If Lakshmi, Lady of Bliss is dealt damage, reduce that damage by 2k. At the end of your turn, draw a card. I love this. Hmm. My one wish is it wasn't... It, it was a, It's a May ability at the end of turn, but yeah, I guess if you got five cards, you've got to get rid of one. Hmm. So this card is absolutely bonkers. Yes, sir. Right. Why did they print this? Uh, because water needed the help, obviously. Because water's that, the actually, Danes. You know what? That is fair. That is fair. Because... We'll, we'll pay that. Like, water did need the help, but... Does it feel like that water got much help this set? A hmm. bit. Like, let's be honest. That... Like, it... the, the, um... The, what's it called? The Leviathan is like six good cards in one. Like, yeah. that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it got a card that finally made Bounce relevant. It mm. got this. It got Golbez. It got Jet. It got Octo Mammoth. Like, yeah. come on. They, I, like, the only, card, the only element that was getting more support than this was Fire. I hate that this card. Which also didn't need it, let's be fair. I hate that this card is going to make Water Zidane more wanted, and it's already drying up as it is. Mm. <laughs> Yep. I can't. Yeah, no, I need no, one more, and I can't seven, find eight. it anywhere. But yeah. Oh yeah. Four cost seven k is amazing. And draw a card at the end of turn. Uh, so it's a two cost seven k. Yeah. I'm happy I'm sitting on my playset as a dance. Oh, bro, same. Yeah. I had <laughs> okay. I had five at one point. I think I traded three instead of two by accident to help out friends going to Fire Cup. And I can't be too oh, upset, fault, but yeah, yeah. I, it's on me. Big oopsie. Yeah. Two cost Larsa. Speaking, yeah. speaking of big oopsies. <clears throat> yeah. 
two yeah. cost Larsa EX burst, forward 5k. When Larsa enters the field, choose one card in your damage zone, add it to your hand, put one card from your hand into your damage zone. Its EX burst, uh, EX burst effects will not trigger. The forwards you control gain plus 2k for every three cards with EX burst in your damage zone. Damn! So, this card wins the most des most interesting design space this set. There has never been any interaction with the damage zone before this card. That star only really picked the card to do its effect again. This card lets you get a silver bullet that hits damage back. Yeah, o also, like, when I first read it, I didn't really, like, uh, until you got to see the whole card, it was just like, wait, we have a heal card? No, no, it replaces it. I'm okay with that. Hey, Luke. Yeah, Clover Raid from yeah. about an hour or so ago. But welcome, dude. Hope you enjoy the show. Okay. Uh, no, the, the, card, the thing that's even funnier about this card is if you hit this with EX burst, you can pick itself up. Yep. Yep. Add it back to your hand. <laughs> so then you get to do it again. Yeah. And, you know, it's, all, it's a way to guarantee you're drawing a fork. <laughs> yeah. I hope you don't find that work there, Luke. Yeah. It's even the effect of uh, 2k, 2k pump for every 3 EX burst in your damage zone. That's actually extremely relevant. Like, surprisingly so. And, and it gives the card a you bit... You don't even need to... And it gives like, the card... You don't even need to run a 50 card first deck. Yeah, and it gives the card a bit of a of a complexity to it. Do you want to fill your damage zone with EX Bursts, or do you want to take out the EX Bursts to use them because they tend to be more powerful cards sort of thing? So it sort of puts you in that little bit of a decision-making situation. Like, if you're running enough like, EX Bursts, it's not that much of an issue. Like, if you think about... Um, think about the Earthwater Summon Sophie deck. I was running 25 summons. How many of those do you think have EX Burst written on them that aren't relevant all the time? Oh, Pretty that's... Pretty much all of them. Yeah. But I still think that at least there's, there is a there is a skill curve to this ability that is very relevant. You need to be very smart about how you do it. Hmm. Well, yeah. yeah and, and also... it's, it's one of those cards where you're just like, this card... Like, it does a lot more than what it reads. Yes. Yeah. And, like... I'll give him this much. At least he buffs himself. Yes. If he didn't buff himself, he'd be unplayable. And, yeah. And buff water is kind of a thing already, so... It's really mm. good. It's got a few homes already that it can fit in. Yeah. yeah. That's, and, there's so much this card can do. And again, if you happen to have those... Very surprising. If you happen to have those three EX bursts in your damage zone, then this is another 4k buff for Sophie. Yeah. If you've got if you've got six a damage six, then that's a 6k buff for Sophie. Yeah. And but, a I mean, 4k buff for the rest of your field. Yep. Like it's the first time a card by itself can say, I'm buffing six K. I'm buffing Sophie by six K by myself. Yep. No, nah, it yeah, it, it's a very good card. Alright, next one is a Leviathan. Six cost EX burst summon. Select up to two of the three following actions. The first one is choose one forward opponent controls, return it to its owner's hand. The second one is choose one light or dark forward, put it on top or bottom of its owner's deck. Third one is choose one water forward in your break zone, add it to your hand. With the other Leviathan, I kind of really like this, especially as an EX burst and as an anti dark or light card. The card. The, like, the only thing that I think is really good about this card is the fact it's got EX Burst written on it. Yeah. It's other effects. It's too costly. Like, mm. the only time you're ever getting your C your 6 CP investment back is if you're bouncing and tucking. The, yeah. thing, is, the thing is, though, in the right deck, this is a 4 cost. In the right deck, this is a 1 cost. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, fair. yeah. But at that point, there's also Remora. Yeah, I know. The, the only reason I like feeding into this is a, a, is the light and dark response and the fact that it feeds off the other Leviathan. Like, outside of that, yeah. Hmm. But it then comes down to how desperate are you to have answers to light and dark cards? Like, how... 
how well, relevant I've, be. I've been consistently running two to three of the cloud back up because F dead. And I still haven't gotten uh, over that trauma. Eh, it's not my fault. It wasn't even. It wasn't a trauma during a. Do that. It wasn't a traumatic experience over the course of Opus Thirteen. That came down to Sophie. Actually, yeah, no, right. actually, I'll, I'll be honest. I never got any trauma from Ned because I always ran anti dark in my deck, and I was like, "Why?" I'm like, "Ned's a card. Why are you not doing this?" Uh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, Luzaf, four cost backup back attack. When Luzaf enters the field, choose one forward you control, return it to its owner's hand. When you do so, your opponent selects one forward they control, put it into the break zone. Back attack. It has I... back attack on it. Yeah, I am very high on this card as well. Yeah. Mm. This card is, by all accounts, the greatest one of card that has ever existed. It, the fear of Lazaf into people. Yeah, just be like, yeah, here he is. Any instant oh. speed, any instant speed, uh, bounce, uh, any instant speed protection is good. Any instant speed removal is good. At instant speed, both. I feel like, actually, in terms of instant speed bounce, this is the first one that can actually be properly used defensively. Yes. I know that you have stuff like, you know, Chocobo and all that, but this feels actually really good when you're on the defensive. No, uh, exactly. Uh, I... And also Frox. Yeah, plus it's another thing to pair with Leviathan to say, I'm going to bounce my thing and then kill that and you sack a thing. Yeah. Like, oh no, I bounced the Viking to make you sack a forward. Guess I'll have to draw a card then. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. kinda you picked up on that. I was about to say that. Yeah, it it doesn't do yeah, bounce your own stuff. What a downside. Yeah. Yeah, like this this card is going to it's going to make a lot of people cry. Oh, and yeah. I will relish in their tears. Yeah, it'll just get people. Yeah, I'm really glad it doesn't have it, but if this had EX Burst, I swear I would have just said Square Enix have lost their minds. Oh, <laughs> if, yeah, had, no. if, that's a, if this had EX Burst written on it, that'd be a hero. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah that's right, it's, it's a rare slot. I, yeah, it's like, damn. Like, that just shows the difference. 